Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the amazing report for Gilmore. Today we are reviewing this book, as you can tell, Calico Joe, a baseball player. Now, obviously you might be asking why did I choose this lame book? Because it had baseball in it, that's all. That's, that's why the I chose The author of this book is John Grissom. He was born February 8, 1955. Uh, he was born in Jonesboro, Arkansas, in the U.S. of A, obviously, um, and he was, before he wrote his first book, he was a American lawyer, and he was working 60 to 70 days a week um, to get money, you know, and in between his free times of working and not working, or recess as a lawyer, he'd go and start writing his book. And he started writing his book and eventually got his first book out. It was, a, I believe, child series. And uh, the first bestseller that he ever has was the film. It was released in 1991. It sold for more than 7 million copies. And eventually it was taken up to be a movie that actually starred uh, Tom Cruise in 1993, which is pretty dang good to have Tom Cruise in your movie. So at the beginning of this book right here, this this year book, well that's upside down. This book, uh, it shows you, it tells you about everything he's been through, and his life, and it describes it very well. He's very, very description of how he was able to go through it, and it showed that he had a love for the game right at the beginning because he loved to watch his dad play baseball, and it actually started out in a game like almost all sports books do because they start in the game then they jump over here and then they jump over there but he talked about how he loved to watch his dad his dad used to play in the majors and he actually started playing baseball because he loved it because of his dad and that shows you the connection right there that there's a connection between sports and a kid and his father because they both love stuff but <clears throat> how he got started playing in the double a triple a he actually was playing in the double A at the time and the first baseman for the Cubs, AAA Triple A, was got hurt and the team the cut the team for the Cubs was playing in Wichita. Right, right down here, obviously. Somewhere over there. And they were playing in Wichita and the first baseman got a hamstring. And then the second first baseman injured his back. So, all of a sudden, this team has no first baseman, and they're got no first baseman. Who's going to catch the ball at first base to get someone out? No one. They ain't got no one there. So, they had to call someone up from double A, and guess who that was? I don't know. Maybe Joe Castle. Uh, he was the hottest player in double A baseball, and he was hitting everything out of the park. And they called him up to see how he would do, because... They thought that he wasn't going to make it in AAA. He thought he was just going to be a double-A player for the rest of his life. But he came up, and he rocked it. He hit literally everything out of the park, like, one after the other. Of course, there's an occasional strikeout, but that's going to happen. Big Ruth didn't hit his 700-some home runs without striking out a thousand times. Uh, but he came up to bat. He was hitting everything, and quickly... I mean, very quickly, he became one of the best-known baseball players in all of baseball. He was able to go up to the mound, or the plate, and everyone would know who he was, because they would come around the world to watch him and see if this guy was really that good at baseball, as what they said he was. And he'd come up, hit home run after home run, and he set tons of rookie records that year, and he'd break them all. He just shattered them, just plain old shattered them. And he still kept that connection of thinking about his dad and stuff and he never lost where he came from really it was always that one guy that was always there for his team and he has always stayed the same. I would rate this book a 6 out of 10 maybe because I didn't really like it because it got boring it's, I think he stretched it out too far and he made it seem like it wasn't a big deal that he's hitting all these home runs as big as a deal as it should have been because I think he should have moved up to the next level sooner I think he should have been in the major leagues whenever he started to hit all those home runs 
And if he really was hitting the double A home runs all the time and he was that good, he would have been in the double A's already. Or the triple A's. He would have been out of the double A's. So I think that's kind of stretchy there whenever he is making the story that he should have done. And character development. Calico Joe didn't really change, it doesn't seem like, from the beginning of being in double A to triple A. Because he's still hitting home runs. He's still... The same guy. He never forgot where he came from. He always remembered his dad. The only thing that really changed, I guess, was the fact that he wasn't in the double A's, triple A's, and he was doing better in the double A's a little bit, or the triple A's a little bit. But uh, the relationship in this story, the relationship of his dad and him was really the same, always. It was always the same. I mean, he always loved his dad. And he never will forget his dad probably ever. And if you wanted to read this book, I would suggest getting ready for a long draw of wanting to sleep a lot. Because he likes to describe things like the baseball field, what it looks like, the pointless stuff that I don't like. The, the point of, oh, the grass was so green and the bricks were so red. And the dirt was so red. And the dugout was so dug out. Like, stuff like that. What's the point of that? Like, okay, it's a baseball field. Now, if you're a person who's never watched baseball before, you probably need to know what that looks like. But it, it's all right. And then... <coughs> <coughs> Anyways, this book... I like development and how it was and what it looked like of course it was a beautiful book beautiful uh he was very very good player i wish i was as good as him but you know i just I, i'm good at sitting left bench you know that's that's my job but i'll never measure up to a first baseman first base is pretty hard and this guy did it but you should you should read this book it's a number one new york times bestseller right there you see that oh yep Number one New York Times bestseller. Here it is. You can ask Gilmore if you can loan it out, I suppose. Just just go ahead and loan that out, alright? And yes, Gilmore, this is baseball. So it's the